of God. So where is the Yahweh in the New Testament? Just so you guys know, I'm just about to read it. From the New Testament? You're going to show us the name Yahweh in the New Testament, yes? I don't need to show you the name Yahweh. Well, you said every prophet came in the name of Yahweh. So show us why Jesus has actually mentioned Yahweh in the New Testament. And by the way, the Yahweh that the Jews believe in, they do not believe that this Yahweh is a trinity. This is something that the Christians concocted in the 4th century. The Trinitarian. Unfortunately, Advo I don't have time Advo to debate you on that. Oh, of course you don't have time. No, I don't. I really don't. Th that's fine. Next time. I, I have next other time. things to do today. All right. So I, I don't. I don't. I don't spend. No, no, that's fine. We told you 1:30 last week. We told you 1:30 last week. You told me 1:30. Soko did. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He said he was going to email me. He never emailed me. Did he email me? Anyway. Did you email me? No, you didn't. There you go. So don't so, blame me for no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I haven't got time to debate anyway, you today. Anyway, show us Yahweh in the New Testament. At least you can do that. So, right? I just want to show you whose name Moses came in. No, no, no. Show us Yahweh in the New Testament. Yeah. Because if everyone came in the name of Yahweh, at least the name of Yahweh should be mentioned once in the New Testament. Can you show us that, please? That's in Exodus 3.14, if you want. Yeah. 315 so Moses said to God, Behold, I am going to the yeah, sons of Israel. Here you are saying God, not Yahweh. Moses said to God, not yeah. Yahweh. Why uh, Yahweh is not mentioned? So, I, I, it's translated here. So, then Moses said to God, So, Behold, I am going to the sons of Israel, and I will say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. Now they may say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus, you shall say to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Now, I am comes from the Hebrew Yahweh. This brother wanted me to show you where Yahweh, Jesus says, Yahweh in the New Testament. So sorry, I'm going to show you sorry, sorry. and then I've got to go. Okay. So in John 8, John 8. Yeah. Are you trying to say One Yahweh second. means I am? Is that what you're saying? You, you ask me a question, allow me to answer. Yeah, but you ask me a question, allow me to yeah, answer. Yeah, but make sure you ask me a question, I want to clarify to something. You ask does me I am mean Yahweh? Allow me to answer. And that is what so I want to do. He said, Where does Jesus say this in the New Testament? No, where does Jesus say so Yahweh? Not I am. You are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham. Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. Thank you very much. I am means what? Have a lovely day. Oh, you're going to run away? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Let him go. You can, you can go. This is, going to run away. This is what happens I have to leave it when you... Yeah, and now he's saying that I'm ready. Allow him to answer the point at so least. Anyway, I'll let him you got five more minutes in three o'clock. So maybe you can. So, that's fine. Have a nice day, Hashim. By the way, so cool. any Jewish person who says Yahweh camera goes means I am, <laughs> he has to bring us proof to that. Hashim, of that. Next Sunday, 1.30, please. Uh, don't tell me what time to come. I will come and I'm free. You guys don't rule here. Okay? We don't go by your rules. Okay, three o'clock next think. Sunday. Will you agree? You no, you can't. Talking. Exactly. You, you see, this I is what happens. One o'clock. Okay. Isn't that the time for church? Yeah. Okay, when I see you, we'll see you. Good. Right. Next time, bring proof for Yahweh in the New Testament because the term Yahweh, yes. the word Yahweh is not there in the New Testament. Uh -huh. And that is the reason okay. he stuck to the word I am. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with that next that week. Is, week. That is actually a beggar who says I am. Does that mean he is God? <laughs> Paul, the Apostle Paul uses the term I am. Does that mean he is God? This is an absurd statement made by Christians and it actually it is clearly, clearly it is, it is actually you're going, you're basically just being, <laughs> I don't know, you're, you're, you're really being desperate now to say that the term I am, wherever I am is mentioned, it means Yahweh. That is the most absurd thing anyone has heard because I am is an incomplete sentence. If you want to complete it, complete. Did Jesus say I am God? No. Not even once does Jesus say, I am God. In fact, Jesus says, my father is greater than I. I by myself couldn't do nothing in John 5.30. There's God. Can you imagine God saying, I by myself can do nothing? So it's a desperate statement. Yeah, he, he won, he won. He, he'll, he'll just basically go on a, on a tangent. <laughs> He's gone already. So, so yeah, I, when G, when G, uh, in, uh, in Exodus 3.14, when Moses says, I am who I am. By the way, Ahye does not mean I, sorry, does not mean Yahweh. The term Ahye is different from the term Yahweh. And we know that because in Exodus 3.14, the term I am who I am is there. And the term Ahye is there in Exodus 3.14. In Exodus 3.15, 
we use the, the term that is used there, the name that is used there, is a term Yahweh. Not the term I am, like the way he deliberately said, is I am. Let's read the words what he says in 315, whether it's I am or it is Yahweh. So we're going to bring, bring up the Hebrew, uh, sorry, the Hebrew um, translation of that Bible. And I've stored it actually here somewhere, just a minute. Where's Mr. Soko film gone? Is it gone? Ah, oh, here it is. Look here, in Exodus 3.15, the word God, the Lord of Israel, the sons of Abraham. Oh, here it is, wait. Let's read 3.14 first. It says here, and, and this is uh, the Hebrew and the English translation in both, but I'll read the English because I myself do not, I'm unable to pronounce the Hebrew terminology correctly. So you can look it up in the Hebrew version of Exodus 3.14, what it says there. It says, Moses unto God, and said, he said, I am who I am. This is the literal translation, that's why it might seem a bit odd. And then it goes on to say, I am who I am of Israel to the sons, shall he say thus unto you has sent me I am. So you see where the word I am is translated, in Hebrew, what does it say? It says, eh, yeah. It does not say Yahweh. So this is a desperate attempt by the Trinitarians to mistranslate to mispronounce the word which is translated I am in Hebrew, which is Ahyeh, not Yahweh. A complete distortion of the Hebrew translation of the Hebrew version of the Old Testament of Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. And then it says in, in Exodus 3, 15, it says, Unto God moreover, and said, Unto shall you say ye, thus, Moses, God, the Lord, this is the word, the Lord, which is translated as Yahweh. And it is clearly does not say I am in there. It says Yahweh very clearly. And in English also it's translated as the Lord or the God of Israel, the sons of Abraham, the God of your fathers, of Jacob and God and Isaac, the God. So you see wherever this, the Lord in capitals or God is mentioned in the Old Testament is translated as Yahweh, not as I am which that gentleman, whatever his name was, he clearly stated the word I am. The word I am, where it's translated, look at the Hebrew. It does not say Yahweh. It says Ahyeh, very clearly. Okay? So, Jazakallah khair, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Salaam alaikum Thank you very much, guys. Salaam alaikum, Zahir bhai. Yes, Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, nice to see you after a long time. Yeah. Is everything all right? Oh, fine. Yeah, you want some coffee or tea? Okay, it's okay. You sure? Have some, have some. Go on. Who else are, who else are here? Uh, Mansoor is here. Salaam alaikum. This brother is from Malaysia all the way. Our uh, guest. Salaam brother. That's fine. You, you take some sugar? Is that for me? That's for you, yeah. It's for me? No problem. It's for you. You're our guest brother. I don't take sugar. No, no, it's You don't take sugar? Okay, go on. You don't take sugar? That's fine. I don't take sugar. I don't actually either. You can take some sugar. No, no, it's okay. It's not your fault. Allah will give you ajar, inshallah. Have some cookies. Oh, I just have a bit. I prefer water, actually. You want water? I'll go and get some. No, no, I got it in my pocket already. You got it, huh? Yeah. You're saying you say, I am Ms. Yahweh. Huh? That bread 